<laughs> okay. <laughs> Very in the thick of things. Um, hello! So, this is Legends of Tomorrow. It's been almost a year since there's been an episode. I want to say that season 5 ended beginning of June or end of May. So it's been almost a full year without Legends. I sat down, got it ready, and I said to myself, oh, I'm so excited for Legends. It is just a bunch of ridiculous fun. And last we left off, Sarah was abducted by, we assumed to be aliens, because she got beamed up and everyone else was just drunk off their ass walking away. And there was a punk party, punk rock party, and... Yeah, so I guess we'll find out what happens. Oh. Oh, yeah. He wasn't. <laughs> oh. Oh. And you look like garbage. I'm feeling like garbage. Gideon, who is on board? Ava Sharp, McRory, and several punks. Ah, uh, oh. where could they be? Oh, come on. How do you say that? Stay around. <gasps> Heck. You're a genius. Maybe it's from Sarah. Let's go. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Abducted by aliens, and that's pretty much uh, right on cue for legends. But still, Sarah's been abducted. So, uh, Sarah's been abducted. Uh, I'll be right back. Hey, Sarah. Oh, she turned. Is that cool? Oh no. was destroyed in the infamous year 2020 by Rama Khan. Nate, this is a huge setback. We needed the DEO aliens as their... Okay, um, <laughs> I don't watch Supergirl, uh, anymore, and so did that happen, or what, 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 is that, I'm, okay. Pot. I got some. <laughs> Tabloids help me not think about how we live on a technological terror hurtling through a swirling green nightmare. Damn. So this girl, <clears throat> Esperanza Cruz, says that she was abducted by aliens. Cross compatriot, I'm your Well, that doesn't sound good. I am Spartacus. I heard a <laughs> oh, 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 oh my, what the fuck? Knocking back in that pod. <laughs> Okay. Being an Avenger is stupid. 
The goal is to prevent death. I am a preventer. You want to join the preventers, Sparty? Y yes. Good choice. That's so cool! It feels like I'm watching a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> no more magic, no more magic is preventing! Prevent I stop it! Let her. You can hear it, can you? 
Aliens. Lots of them. They're falling into the timeline. Look at a pilot as my fiance. What? Wait, you and that other alien are engaged? Her name's Kayla, but yeah. I assume the wedding's off now. Did I not mention that? We, we can no! talk about this later. Right? Oh, they're going into another planet. That's amazing. Okay, that was season six, episode one of Legends of Tomorrow. It's officially here and it's a thing. And honestly, that season premiere, I mean, all the season premieres of Legends are always fun because they set up the season and also kind of give you a tone of what's going to happen. This has probably been my favorite season premiere. It was so good. I just fucking miss this show and I love it so much. Like, I love every single character on this show. You know, there's a lot of... Um, TV shows that I watch that I don't necessarily like every character or I'm not a fan of every character. This one, I just, I love all of them, you know? Um, I mean, even just for example, whenever Astra was like, I want to not be a part of the Wave Rider right now. I want to see what it's like to be normal. I was like, oh no, but you should come and join the team because you are, she's a legend. I mean, she helped everything that happened with last season, even though it's been a very long time and I might misremember some things, but, um, then again, it just looks like we're going into a whole new realm of possibilities or a new planet of possibilities. Ah, um, okay. So Gary is a alien. <laughs> I just like I there. I, I mean, it's great. It's great. I love it because it allows for just more of his character and um, we, we're we going to get a glimpse into, I mean, what kind of alien he is, where he's from, why he was searching for, what was it, like the prime human or the most qualified human? Is that what he said? He said, he said something along those lines. And I mean, the fact that Sarah... Why her? Well, not even necessarily why her, because it's Sarah Lance and she's been through a lot. And whenever she was fighting uh, that alien, I just thought in my head, I thought back to when we got introduced to her on Arrow, and it was like, who would who would have thunk it? <laughs> you know, if I were to go back and tell someone um, that was watching season two of Arrow, being like, hey, um, this character that you're meeting right now, in about however many years from now, she's going to be fighting um, alien creatures on a spaceship uh, that she just got taken from her own space-time ship. How, how about that? You know, like, it's so... I just I just love that this show was created. Um, uh, okay, we got introduced to Spooner, who, you know, we thought maybe had an alien sort of antenna in her brain, but it doesn't look like there's anything in her brain. So I'm wondering, I mean, maybe she's not human and she just doesn't realize that. Or maybe she comes from a planet and something, I don't know. I don't know. But that's interesting. And it looks like she's going to be sticking around because aliens are coming out and Gideon isn't able to do anything and she was like let's dissect i'm like what the fuck are you talking about getting you know um zari and john seem to be calling their relationship a fling um i'm gonna be very curious to see how that evolves or how that how they how they go from uh i care about you but like not really but also like I care about you and then they will get formally you know into it um but they're they're a lot of fun i really liked the um storyline with the two of them last season and i like the chemistry between the two of them so i'm excited to see more of that uh sarah i mean she technically proposed to ava through or she said that she was going to propose to to, to David Bowie, she said she was going to propose to Ava. Um, Ava heard, and then she said yes, and that was a very cool moment. I love the ring, and it's always been one of those things where I knew that I knew that eventually they were going to get married, but I didn't expect it to be. I mean, they're not married yet, but I, I knew that they were going to. That was going to be the next step in their relationship. But 
I just, I love that. And I'm so, oh, Sarah deserves to be happy. Like, really, really deserves to be happy after everything that she has been through. Oh boy. Um, yeah, and Nate is dealing with the heartbreak of losing, sorry, 1.0. Um, and he mentioned that he might never see her again. I don't know if we're ever going to get Zari 1.0. I know that she needs to be in the totem or that's kind of like where that character is going to end up or going to be. Um, but I wouldn't, I like last season, I wouldn't mind a to Zari like episode or a moment where we get to see Zari 0.0 because I fucking love Zari. I love all Zari. Every single Zari iteration I love. Give me, give me more, give me all of it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Is that it? I don't know. I just, I'm, I just, I just, I love, I love the show and I'm interested to see how long it'll take the legends to find Sarah or Sarah to find the legends for, for Ava and Sarah to reunite and Sarah and the legends to reunite. Um, but I guess find out more and legends already got renewed for a seventh season which is just it makes me so fucking happy that a show like this it exists and it's getting it's time to shine and it's going into its seventh season well i mean not right now not right now it's going into its sixth season but it, it will eventually have seven seasons like how dope as fuck is that um and then for those who are curious who've watched this far um I no longer watch, this is the only DC CW show that I watch. I think this is the only CW show I watch. Now that I think about it. I think it might be. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, no, yeah, this is it. Okay, this is the only DC, uh, DC show I watch and, um, CW show I watch. I just got bored. <laughs> um, I got bored with the other shows that are on right now, The Flash, Supergirl, and um, Batwoman. Th those are the ones that I was watching beforehand. I'm kind of keeping up with them through social media, just seeing, you know, what's happening week to week, but I'm not watching anymore. Uh, but yeah, for, I mean, I used to react to The Flash, and I used to do mini recaps at the beginning of my Legends reactions, but as I no longer watch The Flash, that will no, that will not be happening. Um, but yeah, I mean, a little explanation. Uh, the Flash, for me, and this is all my opinion, it, it, this is just what I think, and you don't have to think that, but, um, yeah, so I just... I've been watching the I've been watching the Flash in season one, and for me, the quality and the interest of watching has gone down over the years. It's never really spiked back up. I mean, it'll spike back up in certain episodes, but then I'll watch another episode and be like, eh, I just, uh, I just don't really necessarily care as much about these characters as I once did. And you know, when you're watching a show that you don't want to watch anymore just because it it doesn't it doesn't really make you want to watch it you know it actually it makes me resentful of it even more so that's why I stopped watching and to be honest I haven't been that interested in I guess watching more I, I mean I know I've heard that Superman and Lois is really good but I I just I think I'm I think I'm kind of stepping away from that uh type of television or that or what's you know what I mean um legends however it's its own thing and I I have adored it since season one and the my level of quality for this show and my love for the show has never diminished it has never gone off it has never changed so that's why I'm continuing to watch it and that's why I love reacting to it because it's absolutely crazy um so yeah Legends is just the show that I watch out of the rest and I know I mentioned in my reaction that I was like what happened with the DEO because I don't know I don't know what's happening there um but yeah so you know please be respectful to uh my opinion and I will be respectful of yours you know if you like the flash and where it's going awesome for you you know I'm glad that you still like it and still enjoy watching it um but for me I just am watching legends now and if there are any 
um, kind of crossover connections or things that I'm missing in, in future Legends episodes that are like, oh, but this happened on The Flash and you should know what that is. I'm, I'm not going to know what it is. So comments uh, for people who understand where I'm coming from would be helpful in cases of maybe the DEO mystery was an actual thing that happened on Supergirl and it can be solved with one of the people that happens to watch my Legends reactions who also watch Supergirl. That would be great. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time for more Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, I get to say that again. It's so exciting. <laughs>